Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we are going to paint the September birthstone which is sapphire. Um, now ever since May we have been painting the birthstone for each month. Basically May was my birthday so I was inspired to start the idea. Um, and we're building up and we're going to have a full year by the time we get back round. Um, and you can find those tutorials on the illustration playlist. So if you want to head over there and you can find loads to do. And of course, if you're enjoying those, why don't you like, comment or subscribe? It really helps the channel, makes us more visible so more people can find us. So, shall we, shall we start? Grab your paints and let's get started. So I've done a little circle that is about five centimeters across. And what I'm going to do, uh, I like to sort of try and approach each birthstone a little differently. I'm going to draw in a sort of rough square shape on a bit of an angle. And then I'm going to draw another one that just cuts across it diagonally and you can see how wonky this is and that's fine but from that point what I'm going to do just try and get it a little more even there I'm going to use those points of those squares to join up and make some more facets for our sapphire been learning each time I paint one about new sort of ways of creating sort of cuts in a in a diamond and then there we go lines in each one and that's going to be what we need to create our, our gemstone I have um, woken up various blue tones in my palette I've got French ultramarine blue um, I've got cobalt blue deep, I've got a turquoise here and I've got I've got a bit of Prussian blue as well and Payne's grey, all sorts of colours. I'm going to start with a light tone. I don't want to dictate to you sort of which colour you should be using because I think it's going to just be a fluid, a fluid thing but what I am going to be doing starting with a nice light wash filling in that that initial shape and you'll notice that I'm not worrying about filling it in 100% I've left little bits of unpainted space that's what I want to um, just create almost like a bit of a shine on the stone and I'm going to go round and, and paint in sections of this sapphire they could be all touching each other if you want but what I'm trying to do is to build up a base of colour that we can start adding to. Because these, these diamond shapes or sapphire gemstones, it's all about trying to get a sense of the light hitting every little cut surface in a slightly different way. So I'm going to go down to a smaller brush could use a, let's go for this one here. It's not quite a four tenths brush. Now I'm going to go for something a little bit stronger, a little slightly different tone. And I am going to just go back to the beginning and paint in And now I am adding in a bit of Payne's Grey, it's still quite dilute, and this time I'm, with the last shape I'm sort of going just a bit beyond the lines and, and making sure that the, the shapes are sort of feeling like they make sense in the context of the larger piece. So I'm now, and this, this helps sort of just start to bring it together a bit more and you can see I'm still painting it in this rather sort of 
um, I guess a slapdash fashion because I still want to get the light and shade of the of the facets of the the shape. Now I've got that, it's time to really amp up the concentration of the colours so, and get some of this amazing uh, sapphire that we know and love. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sort of play around with the, the shape. So I'm going to sort of keep on the sort of, keep on the sort of the grid lines of everything, but I'm going to really sort of get the colour amped right up and of course get some some darkness in there as well but I've got my framework to help me just stay focused on the stone. I must say I find um, it's what we started this series and I was like oh yeah I've never really painted these things before. They are challenging but I think what you really need to try and embrace is the it, the, it is a real challenge to capture the way the light hits and the, the way the darkness hits certain stones and not get too concerned, just sort of have fun exploring the shapes because I think it is a really nice way of, it's almost quite a relaxing thing, just sort of seeing what happens when you add colour to a very rigid structure. Like that, you see that's a rather nice way of getting some, getting some shine in there. So now I'm just sort of sweeping the brush across some wet areas and I'm just going to keep going with this concentrated colour and just building up the shape. So we've now got to this really nice stage and what I want to do now is I, what I want to make sure is that we sort of get rid of the sense of there being lines sort of holding it together. So if I see a clear line what I want to do is sort of go in and, and almost like paint it away paint over into a space with the French ultramarine blue. And there we go, one sapphire. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that one. I want to say a huge thank you to our patrons for their support, because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, then hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell, and we'll see you again next time.